Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Hey Baby by Bruce Chanel. And, and this is going to start off, actually, we're going to end up capoing this on second fret, the master recording. We're going to start off in reposition, and we start on a G major chord. When we play G major, first finger goes to A on the second fret, second finger on the low E string, third fret, and third finger on the high E string, third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord. It sounds really happy. Now you may also want to think about putting the third finger on the B string third, pinky on the high E string third, and that could be a cool way to work your G through the tune. And then from the G on our intro, we go to an E minor chord. When we play E minor, first finger stays on the A string second, and second finger goes to the D on the second fret. If you strum all those together, that sounds an E minor chord that sounds really sad. Now you may also want to think about adding in the third on the B string third, pinky on the high E string third, making that an E minor seven chord. And then from the E minor, we go to an A minor. We play A minor. First finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger on the D string second, third finger on the G string second. And if you strum all those together, it sounds an A minor chord and it sounds really sad. It might also be kind of cool to lift off the first finger and make that an A suspended second. Or you could add in the pinky on the B string and make that an A suspended chord. Or you may want to think about using an A7 sus, where you do first finger on the D string second, second finger on the G string second. Third finger on the B string third and the pinky on the high E string third. You can use that for your A. Or you can use an A minor seven where you kind of take the A minor shape, lift off the third finger, and make them an A minor seven. Or you could add in the pinky on the high E string third for an A minor seven. And then from the A minor, we'd be going to a D major. We play D major. First finger goes to the G on the second fret, second finger on the high E second fret, and third finger on the B string third fret. And if you strum the D string of the high E string, that sounds a D major chord, and it sounds really happy. Now on Ds in general, it can be kind of cool to lift the second, the second finger and make it the D sus 2, or you could add in the pinky on the high E and make the D suspended, and kind of say some things around Ds in general. And on our intro, actually, it's kind of almost like a four count on each of those chords, kind of G minor, A minor, D. And I'm kind of doing four downs and kind of adding a little bit of beauty to that. drum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we did the G and tried that a lot. You got down, down, up. first chorus and then at the very end of our second one we end up with kind of this cool little hit where we go from a G chord to a C major chord. We play C major. First finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger on the D string second fret, and third finger on the A string third fret and if you strum the A string to the high E string that sounds a C major chord and it sounds really happy. Now on the C you may want to lift off the first finger and make it a C major 7 or you could add the pinky in on the B string of third and make that a C major 9 or another way C major 9 is to do first finger on the D second, second finger on the A string third, third finger on the B string third, and the pinky on the high E string third, and kind of use that for your C major 9. And on the, that first bridge, or first verse, we do kind of C twice, G twice, and then we go back to C, and then we do kind of a hit on a D major again, where you may want to do down and kill it. So it's kind of our, our whole strum pattern on each of those. We got our C, or kind of an A count idea. into kind of our chorus with that little G, C, G, and you may want to go to a G7 at the end of that actually kind of a G, C, G, and at the very end of that chorus, you may want to throw in a G7 where you play the first finger on the high E on the first fret, second finger on the A string second fret, third finger on the low E string on the third fret, and if you strum all those together, it's a G7, you want to kind of throw that in and change. You kind of hear this cool little bass line actually there where you can play 3rd fret on the low E string twice, 2nd fret on the low E string twice, 1st fret on the low E string twice, to lead in. 
into an E note to kind of support an E minor chord. So at the very end of that chorus part, you got G, C, G, and then G7. Kind of down, down. Or you can throw in that lick. G, C, G. We kind of let that G hang. And then we end up on our E minor, kind of for our bridge part. And we do two E minors, and then we go to an A major chord. And we play A major. First finger goes to the D on the second fret. Second finger on the G string, second fret and third finger on the B string, second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord that sounds really happy. You may also want to think about lifting off the second finger and making that an A7. Or you could readjust the fingers and kind of put the pinky in on the high E third and make it an A7 that way. And then from the A, we go to our D chord. Or you may want to make it a D7 chord. We play D7. First finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger on the G string, second fret, third finger on the high string, second fret, and that could give it a little bit of bite to go into a G chord for a hit at the very end of the bridge part. So on that bridge, it's almost like you got the lead in that 3-3-2-2-1-1, two, two, you go E minor, E minor, E minor, E minor, E minor, D, D7, kind of a G hit. Kind of kill time to come back into our chord. And now the weird part is to play along with Bruce, instead of starting on a G chord, he's starting on an A major chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take a capo, and if you put the capo on 2nd fret, then now your G is really an A major, and your E minor is really an F sharp minor, and your A minor is really a B minor chord, and your D is really an E major chord, and the C is really a D major chord, and your A major is really a B major chord. So take it from the very beginning, we kind of got our intro, we got the G, Chorus. Our first chorus actually is exactly like the intro, so we're going to kind of G, E minor, thing that I think about adding to the song though is bass notes and a lot of times on that first down of the down down up up down up or the down down up, or the down up down up up down you can throw in a bass for the chord. So on the G you'd have low E for the bass, on the E minor you'd have low E for the bass, on the A minor you'd have A for the bass, and on the D you'd have the D for the bass, and on that A major you'd have the A for the bass. So if we kind of try that next first idea, well with basses we'd have G with low E bass, E minor. Set up 
up any way you want to. That's the basics of how you can surf through Hey Baby by Bruce Chanel. So, good luck.